Legit question. How does a tool company that makes really good quality professional tools with a lifetime warranty and also makes an AC adapter so you can plug their 36 volt tools into the wall not become the mainstream tool for most users? That absolutely baffles me. Beyond that, Metabo HPT, which formerly Hitachi, has made probably the best impact driver out there with the triple hammer for years. IP56 rated, it's got great power, it's been small, it's just been amazing. Well, they even won up that, which is just kind of baffling to me, and we're gonna test this guy out today. It's a much smaller triple hammer, 36 volt impact driver, still IP56 rated, still has everything. They upped it, this is 3,700 RPM compared to 2,900. It's got five modes, 4,100 impacts per minute. Pretty sweet two pound tool, very small, very lightweight, easy to handle. They moved where the lights are at on this guy, which I think is a good thing. Most of it feels very similar, but this dude's got some cool stuff in it. Let's put it through the ringer. Stay tuned. This is pretty intense. Nineteen hundred and three inch pounds, equivalent to about one hundred and fifty eight foot pounds. That is absolutely amazing out of this tiny tool. I know you want to see it. So do I. Let's put this guy in. Very, very impressive. This tool has five modes. As you can see down here, there's four pictures, a small screw, a normal screw, a bolt, and then a self-tapping screw. We're in the small screw setting right now. That's gonna be for delicate. You push the mode setting once, goes to full power, which is normal screws. Push it again, it goes to the bolt setting, which is gonna lower the RPM a little bit, but still give you good power. Push it again, it goes to the single bolt setting. This is for smaller bolts or assemblies, something fencing, shelving units, anything like that. It's gonna turn itself off. When it hits, it impacts a few times. When you push it again and it goes to the self-tapping screw mode where it gives you more speed and then slows down towards the point where it starts impacting so you don't strip anything out. While this is probably an unconventional way to go through modes, I think it's going to demonstrate them in a very easy to see way through the camera. We have this on the small screw, which is the delicate mode, and we're just gonna let this one and a quarter inch spade bit do some work. As you can see, it continued to hammer as long as I had my finger on the trigger and it kept the same slow speed as it went in. Let's go up to the longer screw mode. Now this is full power. That's going to continue to go through and give you full power all the time. Push it one more time, we go to bolt mode. You notice that was just a touch slower, but still had all the power that was out there. Push it again. This is the single bolt mode. So this is the only mode where it will actually turn itself off or do an auto stop. And every time I pull the trigger, it will tighten it a little bit more and a little bit more. And you can see it's giving me about a turn and a quarter each time at this setting. In reverse, no auto stop, just gonna let me come right out. Now here's the self-tapping screw mode. It's gonna start out fast and then slow down. You can see that this is gonna ramp up slowly and if the screw was longer, as long as there's no load on it, it's gonna keep on giving you speed so you can start to get through or drill into that self-tapping mode and then it's gonna slow down again as you get into the hole so you don't strip those delicate screws. It's great for thin sheet metal so you don't strip everything out where you're putting things on. 
pretty cool and easy to use modes. We've had some impact drivers that absolutely were confusing and you almost had to go to college to use them. This one is very straightforward. Power on this is absolutely amazing. I have a one and a half inch spade bit here. We're gonna drill through this wood. This has been some pretty heavy wood if you've watched some of our Craftsman reviews. It's really wet, it's sappy. And then we're gonna switch over to the DeWalt. This is the Atomic with the eight amp hour battery. I left my Milwaukee up north, otherwise I'd have that out here. Let's just give this a go and see what happens. Spectacular, just amazing to feel that in your hands. It's smooth, rocks and rolls it out. Let's see how the DeWalt does. Still very well. You can tell the difference in how it hits and you can hear that specifically. I'm gonna go through that one more time just so you guys can listen to the difference between the two. There are more places that this hammers in here. There's three of those instead of the two. So you should be able to hear the difference between this guy hammering. Pretty intense. They're both good, but I mean, we have an eight amp hour battery on here compared to the 2.5 amp or five amp hour if it was 18 volt multivolt. There are a lot of variables that go into having a race, but it's well worth trying, although I'm not sure that this is going to be the definitive answer at all between anything. It's just gonna be something interesting, I think, at this point in time. We'll see which one comes out ahead. Pretty close for what we're doing. We are in forward on every one here and full speed. See how this goes. Like I said, it, it could go either way, but there was a definite difference and it seemed to hold the power further and longer. Now what you can't show over video is how smooth the triple hammer feels while it's doing it and how vibrations and it's, it's just not smooth in the DeWalt and not because the DeWalt isn't smooth, it's just the difference between a double hammer and a triple hammer. Something I really dig about this small impact driver is the fact that it does have a small or light duty bolt mode, which is somewhat of an automatic mode. While I think that's a little bit too tight for this case scenario, it definitely does work well, and I probably would just put this on low. And in some cases though, if you had a little bit larger bolt, let's say a half inch to nine sixteenths, you could easily just hit this, let it rock and roll, and you move on. In that case, that one, it didn't do too bad. I think this one just had a broken piece that was sitting there, but you could go through all these bolts that are here and this one's already tight so let's just see what happens with this it put about a turn and a half on it bent this washer so it's definitely going to be something that you're going to want to use you know in a situation where you're going to put a decent amount of power into that bolt and maybe something not like this quarter inch size that we have here i definitely move up a little bit but it does work and it gives you one auto mode but the reality of where this is in my opinion, is if you were to use this in the slow mode, you get a chance to feel that trigger. And the variable speed trigger on this is absolutely amazing. You can do light, small, tiny work, move up. This is very, very good. And as far as, far as one of the, probably one of the better triggers that's out there. I mean, check that. This, that's in its slow mode there. I think that's super cool. I mean, you can do some really light, delicate work and just use that trigger, which to me is where it's at. We all know that IP56 braided doesn't mean that you can do this, but it works. I am keeping the battery out. Just seems to be the smartest thing to do here. 
keep it a little wet. There is no automatic sliding in. You have to pull that collet open, but let's just see what happens. Not bad, huh? Pull this guy out. So when your tool gets a little, you know, dirty, you just clean her up. IP56 means that it's going to be able to take a spray from three feet away in some dust, no issue, and obviously not this. This is pretty intense. We split the wood there. Pretty cool, huh? That's this guy making the sizzling noise, not the tool. So here we have a quarter inch pole barn tin screw. We're gonna go into the self tapping mode. I'm not even gonna put anything in here. I'm just gonna use her like this. You can see it works easy, allows you enough time. And if you wanted to go faster with that, you definitely could. And because I used a little bit of a cut there, we didn't have to go through the fast spinning mode. Let's just take it out. If we wanted to see how this would work without using, this isn't exactly self-tapping, but let's just give it a go. You can see that works great, gets things in, it's just nice that you're not putting too much on them. Obviously, if you want to go to a different mode, you can and just rock things out at different speeds. But as you've seen, I went forward with that and stripped it out pretty quick. And let's just do this in forward mode at full power. You have to be right on it to stop in time, but it definitely is possible. You just have to be good with that trigger. I think it's well worth noting that every single test we did here was with the same battery, the 2.5 amp hour multivolt, not the 4 amp hour multivolt. The 2 amp hour is what comes with it. And let's be real, when you're using a small tool like this, you're not going to add a little bit larger battery pack to it. You're going to want to use a smaller battery pack. And I guess if you needed that maybe little extra oomph or longer runtime, you could bump up. But Realistically, this thing's pretty dang good. I mean, we compared it to an Atomic with an eight amp hour battery on the bottom. So that would be the equivalent of this guy and still rocked it out and beat it. Long story short here, I don't understand why there isn't more cheering involved around this brand. They seem to treat their customers right. They seem to do everything right. Their prices are actually coming down, I believe, that so they can compete and try to get out there in a world where there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. I don't want to go into how some people are doing some commercials, but there are commercials and things that we're watching out there in the tool world that are just absolutely absurd. And when some of these new brands come out and say they're the new thing and they show you this weird stuff on TV with some really weird stuff, it's just awkward, very, very awkward and even hard to watch. These guys are just silently there pushing this through saying, hey, just try our stuff out. We think you'll like it. I agree. Try this out. I think you'll like it. And Try out their rear handle circular saw that is two pounds lighter than the rest of them and still rocks it out, cutting just as fast as just about anything else out there in the market. And it's a lot more comfortable. Check out their impact wrench, the half inch model we just went through that Torque Test channel worked with us on and it's ranked up there in the top three as far as uh, what it'll do for power and then the price on it. It was 199 bucks. I mean, just amazing stuff that they have there. I could go on and on about why I really like this brand. I just need you to pick it up and try it. Then leave your comments below, let me know what you think. I always appreciate you guys letting me know what's out there, but I want to let 
Yeah, I want you to let me know where else, or at least what other channel, you see this tool being used on, or any of the other Metabo HPT tools. You don't see Metabo HPT on a million other channels. I don't know why, but you don't. So if you see another video, put that down in the link in the below in the comments. Say here, another video on this thing. I think that'd be great. Let's uh, get people watching some more on this stuff and just see what happens. As always, appreciate your time. Comments, like, subscribe. Have a great day.